Our daily lives are filled with thousands of messages on radio, television, and the internet. The volume can be overwhelming and make it challenging to pay attention to what matters. The messages we need to hear loudly and follow closely emphasize each person's human dignity and draw us closer to the perfect love of Christ. That is why it brings me great joy to welcome the Culture Project back home to the city of brotherly love. The Culture Project is an initiative of young people set out to restore culture through the experience of virtue. We proclaim the inherent dignity of the human person and the richness of living lives of sexual integrity, inviting our culture to be fully alive. The Culture Project is sending a team of young adult missionaries to the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. We will be speaking to students in middle schools, high schools, youth groups, and religious ed settings. We also give presentations to college students and are happy to speak to parents as well. I'm very excited for the Culture Project team to come to Philadelphia because it's a, a dynamic group of, of young people who are powerfully trained, filled with faith, and, and just a powerful witness to the gospel. Catholic education is everyone's responsibility, right? The family's responsibility, the parish's responsibility, the school's responsibility. And what the Culture Project brings is one more layer of help one more layer supporting our Catholic values. It's really beautiful to have them see others that are just a little older than them uh, bring that faith and then know they can live that faith out loud too. As a missionary, I thought to myself, wow, I am sharing the message that I would have wanted and needed when I was their age. I see one thing in particular uh, that is definitely a struggle for our young people today, and that is the topic of social media. They start to lose their own self-worth and self-value by looking at somebody else's perfect life instead of realizing who they are and who they're created to be as beloved sons and daughters of God. We are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, you name it. Anywhere the young people are, we're there as well. We provide resources for them, not just in the classroom, but outside of the classroom. Our robust social media presence offers them videos, blogs, a community that they can join and be a part of, a place where they can realize they are not alone in striving to live a life of virtue. Our world, you know, destroys our sense of dignity, you know, and most of our young people walk around believing that they're, they're, they're not good looking enough, they're not tall enough, they're not smart enough. Every single person is a beloved child of God the Father and to, to help to form our young people in that identity brings just, just so much blessing to them, so much freedom. And so our young people desperately need the Culture Project to come, interact with their lives, and help to form them in the awesome identity that God has given to them. They're young, they're vibrant, and they're here to share the message of human thriving. If you have the chance to have the Culture Project reach out to your students, your parish, your kids. Grab it and run with it. They're so authentic. They are there to help. And those kids who are lucky enough to be working with the Culture Project really heal and grow closer to God. Every youth minister and every teacher wants to bring the Culture Project and they, they present to seventh and eighth graders, to high school students, to college students, to parents. The Culture Project is absolutely free. Book them today. I'm filled with great joy and hope to have the Culture Project missionaries here in Philadelphia. I ask you to welcome them to your school, parish, and youth ministry groups. The charisma, zeal, and personal witness these individuals bring with them is unmatched. Please join me in welcoming the Culture Project back home to Philadelphia so that we can continue the church's mission of upholding the intrinsic beauty of human dignity for all and promoting a culture of life.